Welcome to Tele IJN series Ultra High Resolution DVL Usage Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will go through the JN DVL key features and demonstrate the fundamental usage operations. Okay, let's start. First, let me introduce the JN series to you. They are JN200 and JN300 series. Both of them are designed for ultra high resolution recording. The maximum resolution is 960 times 576 for PAL and 960 times 480 for NTSC, which is 34% higher than D1. It shows crystal clear video quality when using with Tele i700 to realize cameras. It supports sewer link for reliable connection through dynamic IP, sewer site for remote monitoring in PC, and also iView HD for mobile phones. We provide an end-to-end -end comprehensive solution for your remote monitoring. There are three models for JN200 series. They are JN204X, JN208X, and JN216X for 4-channel, 8-channel, and 16-channel applications. They are cost-effective entry-level DVL for retail and small business application. For JN204X, the maximum frame rate is 25 or 30 frames per second at WD1 resolution. For JN20XX and JN216X, the frame rate per channel is 12 or 15 frames per second for PAL and NTSC. For JN300 series, JN30XX and JN316X, they are designed for professional grade application. It supports real time recording at WD1 resolution. It also supports 8 internal SATA hard disks for 24TB capacity, which is ideal for continuous recording for more than 3 months. Let's start the tutorial. In this tutorial, we will cover the basic usage operations such as live view, recording, playback, video extraction, event log review, pen tuition control, and remote monitoring by Suicide, Web Browser, and iView HD. JN204 is presented in this tutorial. The user interface is basically the same as other JN DVLs. This is the live view from local video port. You can use a mouse, IR remote, or the thumb panel to control your recorder. First, click the menu button in the left corner, then enter the ID and your password. The default ID is admin and the password is 123456. After you log in, you will see the main menu. You can log the DVL when it is idle for a few minutes. In main menu, you can change the view in the bottom toolbar. You can switch channel in 1x1 one one view, 2x2 two two views, and also picture in picture view. In main view, select a camera, click the zoom button in the bottom toolbar. You can use your mouse or direction key to view a particular area. In main view, enable the sequential mode in the bottom toolbar. Channel will be switched one by one. You can also adjust the channel duration time. You can adjust the resolution, frame rate, bit rate of individual channels based on your requirements. Recording will be stopped by time schedule, motion, or external alarm. Select date and time. Select channel and view. All channel can be played back simultaneously. You can fast forward, backward, and play frame by frame. You can scroll the time bar to control playback. 
Click Exit to return main menu. Select date and time. Search event footage. Double click to see alarm footage. You can see the alarm image when the alarm is triggered. Double click image to see alarm footage. The DVR allows user to protect essential footage. For example, you can lock the alarm footage. Lock footage will not be deleted or override when hard disk full. Select footage by time and channel. Select DVR format and tick the box to include player. DVR player is required for tele format footage. Footage from different channels can be displayed simultaneously. Select footage by time and channel. Select AVI format. You can include or not include the player. One AVI file will be created for each selected footage. All AVI footage can be played by standard media player in PC. You can check event log to identify events such as motion detection, external alarm, and video logs. Backup logs in USB drive when needed. You can check operation log to check unauthorized access. You can chase access record, operation log, payback, event search, and footage extraction. Backup logs in USB drive when needed. JNDVR supports Tele-I DM series speed doom using Pelco D protocol. You can perform pantyl zoom, patrol, and call preset positions. The OSD training session is complete. We are going to illustrate our video management software suicide for remote viewing. Please install it and run it in your PC. To set up remote connection for internet, please check the HTTP port and server port in your DVR. You have to forward these two port number in your router. It is the startup page of Suicide in PC. To add a JN DVR, click the Add Site button. Enter the site name, IP address with server port, username, password. You have to select the Advanced Security Mode. The default ID is admin and the password is 123456. Click OK once you finish. The JNDVR has been added to your connection list. Video view can be changed by different scale. Click the Payback button on the toolbar. Select date. The orange bar shows the selected camera. The yellow bar shows the recording period. Alarm status will be shown on the bar. Select the starting time. Click play button to start replay. You can click fast forward. Click stop button and back to live view. Click Setup button to access DRL Setup page. Web browser operations such as Live View, Payback, and Footage Extraction will be discussed in the next session. It is the home page for the web browser. Type IP address and HTTP port. Enter ID and password. 
The default ID is admin and the password is 123456. After you log in, you will see the live view. To play back, click search, select date and replay view. Click play button to replay. To back up footage, click back up, select date and time, then search footage. Download and install the H.264 code that. Footage will be extracted in AVI format. Once the download is complete, you can return to Live View. We are going to show you the basic operation in Live View HD in Android Phone. First, open iView HD in Phone. Click the box to add this site information. Select Advanced Security Mode. Enter site name, IP address with server port. Finally, enter ID and password. The default ID is admin and the password is 123456. After you log in, scroll to switch channel. Click exit to close connection. The usage tutorial is complete. You should be able to perform OSD operations like live view and payback, setting remote connection by search site or web browser in PC, and finally iView HD for mobile phone. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in TeleI products, please visit our website www.teleI.com or email us at info at